Well, this is not too surprising. The uh, low light performance of this um, Panasonic camera I got from China is nothing short of impressive. So here's outside, um, zoomed in, looking out the window. Um, I'll just bring this round into the uh, into the lab here, which has all its lights off. And yep, it's pretty good. I'm just going to zoom out and refocus. So here we go. So yeah, in this room basically I have no lights on other than a uh, very dim lamp in the corner. Um, there are some various monitors and things turned on just now. Uh, there's my laptop completely swamping out the, uh, the image. Um, I can go under this dark table and you can still see perfectly clearly. Um, it can actually lighten even more um, and there's a whole bunch of settings that can be adjusted. Um, for example, uh, using the menu upside down, let me try that again. If we go into noise reduction, I've got this um, 3DNR on and there's a slight smearing you can see. If I turn that off, obviously it's much noisier. Um, as you kind of expect, um, but you could tweak the exposure down. You don't need; it wouldn't need to be, for example, at a demo party to be uh, quite so uh, gained up. Um, but the option is there, and the noise reduction certainly doesn't make a difference. But it does add smearing, and the more you add on, the more smearing you get, as you do, as you'd expect. Um, there is a uh, wide dynamic range option, um, which can be demonstrated pretty easily. Uh, if you look at the dark areas, there's not much uh, detail there, but turn it on and you get a boost. Um, how good it is in reality, I'm not too sure yet, so I'll have to wait and see after some more tests. Um, shutter speed can be adjusted. Um, I think that tends to work better if I set the lens to manual. Oops. Ah, interesting. Did not want to go in that menu. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I can start to uh, mess around the shutter and everything else. And you can actually go um, the other direction and it will do long exposures um, if you really want to make it look like daylight. Yeah, uh, a few other options and stuff, but um, including it does motion detection and all sorts of um, um, all sorts of stuff that's a bit crazy. Um, but uh, obviously none of that's particularly uh, particularly needed. But pretty cool, all the same. And um, yep, pretty impressed. Here is a, just a general indoor shot um, with all the lights on in the lab, which gives you a better kind of idea of the, just the uh, the general quality of the uh, of the camera. And um, yeah, I think it's very good, um, and the lens on it is quite good as well. Uh, So I've got that focused on the pixels on the LED sign up there and yep, they're pretty clear if I could keep the camera still. I still need to make a kind of enclosure and uh, mount for this, but once I've done that, should be alright. Um, and you can see that uh, there is actually, yeah, it's a pretty good lens. But literally I'm turning it like a few millimeters and it's going between that sign and that. So you're not going to be using it for uh, pool focusing, that's for sure.